I'm Molly McGinn and I'm a musician and a writer and a social media marketer here in Greensboro. I think one of the things that's always struck me about Greensboro is that sense of community. I'm from a small town and I love the energy and culture of big cities, but I'm not a very big city person. I feel more comfortable in places that feel manageable. And there's something in Greensboro, especially downtown, that just gives me that. It's like a balance of both. When I first started working at Kinder Music, their offices were out in Brown Summit, so that was a 15-minute drive to work every day. When they finally brought their offices downtown, because they wanted to be a part of what was going on here, I went from basically a 10 minute commute in my car to a 5 or 10 minute commute on my bicycle. Right around that time, City View at Southside was starting to develop and it was incredible. And when I saw those apartments go up, I was just thrilled. Like architecturally, it was very vintage and modern at the same time. It was built with brick, which Greensboro is founded in brick because of the Quaker development here. I mean, it just fit. I moved in there and I, I just loved it. There was a more variety of like younger professionals that were there. There were some college kids, but there were also some older families. There were professors. It was just a mix of a lot of different kinds of people. And I just remember pedaling up, stopping in at Simple Knees and getting a cup of coffee and driving through that alley of the news and record with my coffee on one hand and riding the bike on the other and heading to work and just feeling so lucky for the life that I had been able to create. So now I'm a musician and a writer and a social media marketer. I have a lot of business meetings at Green Bean, everything from working with clients to meeting other musicians or talking about film projects or social media clients. There's a lot of talent sort of walking around down here now. You could basically go into the Green Bean and, and bump into a musician or writers and a talented graphic artist. There's a lot here to work with. To walk downtown now after coming here the first time in 92 and to go through Center City Park and to see the Civil Rights Museum and the stage and all of these things in something that was once just completely empty, that just had this energy but no story yet. You just knew it was here but you didn't know the story yet. And that's what I think Greensboro's been doing for the last 10 or 15 years. And I know I want to do everything I can to help as well. And I know I can.